Hello, Exit Strategy family. Happy Father's Day. Happy uh, Father's to be day. Happy um, day to all the men who are mentors to children and, uh, and also pet parents. <laughs> so, um, and I just wanted to share a picture of my dad. This is kind of like the famous picture of him in the red sweater and uh, I called him popcorn. So happy Father's Day in heaven to my father. Um, I wanted to give an update as I do on what's happening with the film. First of all, this is the first um, um, update I've given really since the campaign has ended. And everyone's like, okay, well, you, you got the green light and you, and you, you know, raised $35,000. Um, so you're ready, right? And the answer is yes, it's a beginning. It's a shot in the arm is what that crowdfunding campaign is and was. Um, there's still plenty more to raise. So if you have not, uh, contributed, you still can. And, um, the best website to do that is on the Austin Film Society website, and I'll give a link to that. Um, so what what the crowdfunding is, is like the, the beginning of like, yes, I'm taking the next steps. And so the next steps for me are putting together um, a an assembly of um, footage and interviews and storyline of, of what this film is and then I'll be able to see what's still needed and go back. I think I've shared that before as well. Um, another thing I wanted to just bring into the conversation as I do, as I share um, types of themes that are covered in the film, one is just about mortality awareness. Um, uh, it was instigated for me. It, I wasn't, it wasn't a, a plan, but um, I had to clean out a storage room in my house. And in this box, I had many, many photo albums and um, um, drugstore envelopes of pictures. And in my circle of friends, I was always like the documenter. So I just have so many photos. It's overwhelming. This was before... Um, digital photos, right? And before we had phones documenting everything. So uh, there's a Grateful Dead song called Addicts of My Life. And I feel like I'm going through the addicts of my life right now. And it's highly emotional. And I'm going through, I'm sort of looking at things and pictures and memories and w where, where I was emotionally at that time, right? So I'm taking pictures of the gems and I'm letting the rest go. And, uh, Unfortunately, a lot of this is going right to landfill. Why? Because I can't take it with me and nobody really cares about this stuff. You know, I'm the one that kept my pictures for posterity for someday and that someday is now. And so I'm not dying tomorrow. I'm in my 50s, I'm healthy, but, um, but I am assessing my life and also letting go of things. I also have boxes of my mom's photos and it's the same thing. It's like, I don't want her stuff. That stuff was meaningful to her, you know, and even creating these photo albums, um, like scrapbooks, you know, like ticket stubs and brochures and that's what we did then. So it's, it's beautiful and also I have the memories in me and I don't want to leave this as a burden to anyone else. So it's it's called death cleaning. Um, the gentle art of Swedish death cleaning is a book. And uh, also, I just wanted to give a plug for um, Francesca Arnoldi's workbook that's coming out. I actually got like an earlier copy, but it's coming out um, July first, and it's called the Death Doula's Guide to Living Fully and Dying Prepared an essential workbook to help you reflect back, plan ahead, and find peace on your journey. And again, it's Francesca Arnoldi. Um, and there's lots of good exercises, like a workbook that you could actually do with people to make it more fun, to think about all these considerations as we near end of life. And again, you know, I'm not dying tomorrow, but it also allows me to live more fully to think about that I will die 
and that, uh, you know, I am in the second half of my life, if you will. So um, that's my thought today. And if you have boxes in your basement or you've been paying on an auto deduction for a storage space, maybe consider just baby steps going through like one box at a time and going through this stuff and getting rid of it. Um, getting rid of what no longer serves you and ask yourself like, why am I holding on to this? Is it generative for me to still have this stuff? So um, anyway, that's all I have today. Much love.